You know, one of the biggest issues in the presidential campaigns has been inflation. But the fact is it has dropped since it peaked in July of 2022. But most economists say it had little to do with the Inflation Reduction Act passed by Congress and signed by President Biden. However, there is one area it has had an impact. Tom Hauser explains. Senator Amy Klobuchar and HHS Secretary Javier Becerra drew a packed house at a senior center in St. Paul with residents anxious to hear about efforts to lower prescription drug costs. That is going to save American seniors in just one year $1.5 billion and he's just gotten started. Klobuchar and Becerra touted a portion of the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 that is bringing down the cost of many of the most commonly used prescription drugs for seniors. Inflation has come down from a peak of 9.1% in July of 22 to 2.9% in July of 24. Many economists agree most provisions in the Inflation Reduction Act had little to do with inflation reduction. But one area it has had an impact is on prescription drug prices for seniors. Medicare-covered insulin is capped at $35 per month. RSV and shingles vaccines now free. Drug companies must pay rebates to Medicare if they raise prices faster than inflation. And starting in 2025, out-of-pocket drug costs will be capped at $2,000. I call the Inflation Reduction Act our lower cost prescription drug law because that's really one of the main things that it does. Dawn Tuvison of Woodbury can attest to that. She lives with MS and recently had a heart attack and until recently relied on life-saving prescription drugs from international pharmacies. No American or no Minnesotan should have to rely on an international pharmacy to access our medications. About 118,000 Minnesota seniors now use at least one of the 10 drugs with negotiated lower prices. In St. Paul, Tom Hauser, 5 Eyewitness News.